This P0099 repairing video is dedicated to Toyota's drivers. If your Toyota is getting a P0099 error code, this video is going to show you two practical solutions to fix the error code at home. Use the Zeus app to scan your vehicle and see the error code P0099. It indicates that the powertrain control module has detected an intermittent input signal from the intake air temperature sensor 2 circuit. Here are two of the most practical solutions to fix Toyota's P0099 error code. Method A, the IAT sensor. The IAT sensor could be on the throttle body attached right to the intake manifold. First, carefully remove the IAT sensor from the vehicle. Visually inspect the sensor to make sure it hasn't been contaminated by a leak from another engine component. Use a multimeter to proceed with a test on the IAT sensor. In order to get a correct reading, check your owner's manual to see the specific IAT sensor resistance range for your vehicle. If you do not get a reading, this indicates that the IAT sensor is faulty and needs to be replaced. Method B, the air filter. Look at the air filter housing. It usually looks like a black plastic box. Disengage the cover to expose the air filter. Be careful not to dislodge any hoses or stretch any wiring when you do this. Remove the old filter carefully. Pay attention to the orientation of the filter as it comes out of the housing. Clean out any excess dirt or debris inside the compartment before installing the new filter. Follow the orientation of the removed filter and put the new filter in place. Make sure the outer seal is seated properly before closing the cover. Close the cover and replace the clips and screws. So here are two of the most practical solutions to fix Toyota's P0099 error code. After the repair, you can now use the Zeus app to clear the error code. And tap the rescan button one more time to make sure everything is fine with your vehicle. To save more money on car expenses, claim a free engine code scanner at the description link below, or check out the video here for more info. You're also welcome to leave comments below, our mechanic professionals will answer them shortly. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching this video.